afraid of the dark Especially when I'm in a park And there's no one else around Oh, I get the shivers I don't wanna see a ghost It's the sight that I fear most I'd rather have a piece of toast Watch the evening news I, oh my I am bored and I want some coffee. So let's go get some coffee and talk. my favorite things. What are my favorite things? Oh, Hello, coffee. Uh, so let's start with the update of Intel Hacked. So I got an email earlier this week from Sarah, my recruiter, and when I got it, my heart started pounding because basically I've asked a few people, UK, US, um, who they heard from, and they said the U.S. or not the U.S. office, but the office that's handling it, so not just the Tokyo office. So, anyway, Sarah's email was basically saying all my documents are in and good, and it's going to be off to Tokyo, and then if I have any further questions, direct them for Tokyo. The exact phrase, and I want to point this out just so you realize how I feel like through this whole interview process that you already have the job, but yet the determining if you really want the job or are good for the job, that it does not say, oh, Tokyo will contact you in the next couple of weeks. No. It says, if you have any questions regarding offers and placement, ask them. Like, I, can I email them right now and say, yes, what was my offer? I'm in. I don't know. But, uh... That's about it. It's Golden Week in Japan right now, so I do not expect to hear anything until the 6th. But hopefully I'll hear soon. I really want to hear soon. The waiting is getting to me. But once the 6th comes, I'm going to be checking my email. Refresh, 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 F5, F5, until I get that email. Or I'm going to be at work and uh, helping a customer. They're like, Oh, my phone just went off. I'm sorry, my lane is closed because I must do the dance of joy right now. <laughs> but uh, we'll see how that goes. But on to a few of my favorite things. My most favorite thing about uh, Japanese culture would have to be music music right now. Literature is gaining fast. I would love to have a career in literature in the future, but I I'm still fledgling when it comes to uh, literature. But music, uh, let's see, the very first Japanese song I heard that was not anime related was Ikari Ikaru's First Love. Oh my gosh, I love that song. I still do. It's like one of the most perfect ballads, the lyrics. So after that, it was the Kinky Kids. And so with them, we went into the world of Johnny's. But it's fun, fun, fun in their world. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's a wide range of music I like. And that includes Japan, too. So um, I think. Let's think. See, J Rock, definitely like Gag, Hyde. My only problem with J Rock sometimes is that a lot of the acts out there sound like Gag. And I'm just like, you're not them. You kind of like a copycat, so uh, good day. But one man you should totally check out. Go up there, 
type it in. One OK Rock. O N E O K Rock. Wait, do that when you're done watching this video, okay? But uh, some of their songs, oh my gosh, all their songs are really amazing. They do ballads, but mainly rock. And Taka, the lead singer, vocalist, has a unique voice. And they're really good. So check them out. because I used to see them in uh, little live houses in Japan and now they're playing like Shibuya AX and Tokyo Zap and the Zaps. Getting bigger and bigger. Sad, but who knows? Now my favorite area of Japan is Nara. I, first time I went there, I spent only five hours there, and oh, I fell in love with it. It was amazing. It, was, it made so much an impression with me. Nara is located down in the Kinky Plain. The deer is so cute. I love the deer. I remember uh, sitting, uh, getting a soft cream, sitting there. Uh, waiting for our tour time to go see uh, one of the biggest sites in Nara. And, and the deer comes over to my friend and starts bowing for the soft cream. And the deer's like, okay, turn it on. Thank you. It's not so hard. And they're really cute when they do that because any animal that has like human characteristics, you know, are just cute. So, um, the deer are awesome. One of the things I love about Nara, and to really experience it, you have to go to the old ruins of the capital, and it's the wide, fresh air, which, if you live in a city like Osaka or Tokyo, you don't really get a lot of that. You kind of got like, patches of sky within the skyscrapers. Sky is so blue and pretty. And, space is just so wide. I, I just love the ruins of the old capital. Uh, another thing about Nara, one of the biggest tourist sites of like, all Japan, is the big Buddha in Todaiji. Now Todaiji is the oldest wooden, uh, the biggest wooden structure in the world, I believe, and it houses one of the largest Buddhas. And if you stand there and think how big this Buddha is, <laughs> And at the time, basically, all of Japan had to melt down their bronze to send off to make this Buddha. And think of all the stuff that got melted down. It's kind of amazing. But, um, I think, well, that's pretty much Nada. It's kind of sad that I have a very, very, very low chance of being placed anywhere in the Nada prefecture with Interact, but hopefully it'll be in Kansai. I can at least make a trip once a month, because the deer and me are spectacle. The Nakama right there. My favorite place in the world. The whole world. Now granted, I've only been California, Hawaii, and Japan. So it kind of narrows it down, but still, one of my favorite places is Tokyo Dome. Now, you can kind of expect this from someone who first favorite thing is music, that Tokyo Dome is a huge concert venue, and I have been to a lot of concerts in Tokyo Dome. And there's something about it. So Tokyo Dome is right in the center of Tokyo, and Sudabashi, which is in the center of the Yamanote Sen, and I live like a stop or two away from there, 20 minute walk when I studied abroad, and that was just amazing. Um, what I love about Tokyo Dome is, especially if you're there waiting for the concert to start and whatnot, the people you watch and see, the I'm a people watcher, so watching the different people, costumes, uh, especially the concerts, and the chivas, and things that they make, it's amazing that there's so many people, and it's a place that I would 
love to go sit and kind of be quiet and just watch people. It's very cool. Plus, there's a Starbucks nearby now. <laughs> Grab some coffee, go off, and watch humanity. But my number one favorite thing ever is that Tokyo Go. Now, what this is, and I kind of hesitate to explain it or to show you guys because one of the things I love to do would be to pick my friends. And basically, when you leave the dome, tell them just to hold tight to what they had. And they're like, why, why? And I'm like, trust me, just hold on. Have a hat, hold on to it. If you have, you know, anything, just hold on to it. Well, basically what happens is, inside the dome, there's so much pressure that gets built, built up. And when the event's over and you're leaving, you only have these little doors to leave. So the pressure escapes out the doors. Essentially, I want to say you get sucked out of Tokyo Dome, like spits you out. And you can stand there and hear like girls coming out holding their skirts and they're like, yeah, yeah, and things like that. I mean, even me, it gets sucked out and you get this momentum that if you're leaving, it gets a little scary if you're leaving in the uh, double deck like the second deck area, the top of it, because you basically come out and you go out to, what is it, like a balcony? If you have too much momentum, you're just going to go over that balcony, but I don't think it's possible to get that much momentum. But that's Tokyo Dome. I love it. So, um, yeah. So I hope this update was a little different, has a different feel. And uh, it's a lot different than the whole FYI kind of stuff that I was doing before. So, yeah, you can take that. So, uh, I think that's it. I just love it when people come over and ask for a chair. They're like, yeah, I'm not. Uh, but yeah, so next update, number seven. I think I want to wait a week or two for that one. Um, I don't know what to do right now. Like, what's the stuff I should talk about? Like, should I do a whole update on Johnny's or music in general? Things like that. I don't know. Because it's, I'm going to be doing FYI's, like getting ready to go to Japan and stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. See how it turns out. But, anyways, I want to get back to the topic. So to next time.